Sella, now owners tell me that it's been a long time coming and patrons tell me that they've been just waiting on the chance to come out and support at some of their favorite bars. These are people's lives, you know, and everyone to a certain extent needs to you know, get back to work and, and this is their work. Many residents in Jefferson Parish took to their favorite bars as a way of showing support. As of Wednesday, all bars within the parish can allow on-premise consumption. Bars that don't serve food included. Bar owners are suffering right now. They need to open. You know, they, they're going to fold if they don't. The parish has had a COVID-19 test positivity rate of less than 5% for at least two weeks. It's what's needed to opt in on the phase three guidelines for bars reopening within the state. We have a week of 3.8 and a week of 3.7. Those are the kinds of numbers we need. But I'm trying to caution everybody. We need to keep those kinds of numbers. Officials say if numbers trend back up, that could mean bad business yet again for bars. We have to stay below 10% positivity, otherwise we risk having to close our bars and potentially other businesses. But there are some guidelines in effect. For instance, bars can open with up to 50 patrons indoors for tableside service. Outdoor service is allowed but cannot exceed 50 people. All patrons must be socially distanced and the sale and service of alcohol must end at 11 p.m. Patrons say they support the restrictions. If that means getting back to normal, whatever that is. You know, uh, everybody doesn't want to see this thing spike and, and us have to go back into lockdowns. I think everybody to a certain extent wants to get back to their normal day to day, even if it's not as normal as before. Now, the phase three order expires on October 9th, and you can visit our website, WDSU.com, for a full list of those guidelines associated with phase three. But for now, reporting live from Jefferson Parish, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.